I'm back, punks. How's everyone doing? I don't know if there's anyone left yet. Yeah, I still have the Twitch VOD. Yeah, I'll download that and, uh... Let's see here. Oh, 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 I have so many, I have so many things open now. That was fast. I brought food. I, I didn't, I didn't eat. And I, I was wondering, I was wondering if maybe we can watch something. Watch some trailers that we might, oh, there's some good stuff. Some trailers we might have. Did we miss a... Oh, there's a future game show. I'll just watch that, honestly. I'll pull it to the... Because I'm kind of curious. Here we go. The trailer's available in native resolution. Okay, here we go. I think that this will be... Oh, no. I I'm, I'm Chad Rods. Uh-oh. There we go. Like, there's something wrong with my face. <laughs> uh, yeah, this will be more informal than... Actually, let me put it in special events. And... Watching future games show. Watching future games show. There we go. Oh, no volume. I get to eat a little bit here while we... I don't even know what this one's Hello, about. Buddy. I'm Doug Cockle. Though you might know me best from CD Projekt Red's beloved Witcher trilogy, where I voice the original bath-taking monster slayer, Geralt of Rivia. Now, we've got a great show for you today. He's Geralt. But I'm not hosting it alone. Oh, no. Now, I'd like to introduce you to somebody who's been with Geralt through thick and thin, from mountains high to valleys low, and the occasional thatched roof. Did you see the Devolver one? I did. Of course I'm I did. Referring to it was so fun. I love the Devolver Gravity ones. Gravity The Devolver ones are some Roach. of the best. Wait a second. You thought that you were hosting a video game showcase with a horse. <laughs> I was a little confused when they sent me the brief, but uh, this actually makes a lot more sense. Lovely to see you again, Denise. Hello, everyone. My name is Denise Goff, and I voice the powerful sorceress Yennefer or Vingerberg in The Witcher 3. But today, this is the future game show, powered by Mana. And we're going I wonder to treat if this one is going to have hour of yeah, I love Devolver. Every year I for watch upcoming it. Video I have games. to watch it. Now you'll be able to find and wish list all of the games from today's show on the Future Game Show Steam page. And you can head on over to gamesradar.com to read more about them. Let's kick things off with our You know, first sometimes people premiere, shall say, we? "Oh, who won E3?" To me, it's, um... Oh yeah, no, it's so good. They always say something clever. They always do something clever. Like, they predicted the whole microtransaction stuff happening with what they called at the time as a joke, loot box, loot, loot box coins. And then, lo and behold, now we have a bunch of currencies in games. So, and it always makes sense, like, what they were saying, it was, it don't makes total sense, right? Like, <laughs> yeah, everyone's just merging. Everything's just merging. It, like, the guy who directs it, I, I don't know him personally, but I'm friends with people who, like, work with him and stuff like that. And it, he has done so many cool projects. He's a little, con he, the guy who directed this, 
owns a little Canadian studio and they like, their whole thing is that they like to do everything practically. They don't like doing anything CG as much as possible. Obviously you add CG. are most proud of. But that was they love doing stuff practically. Which is a working title. Wish so the robot's the practical. I don't know if you remember the the Soma up, ads for the game Soma. Horror game that explores How they, and loss in a familiar environment. They were kind of very weird, but they had Peggy really 18. big machines and they were all real. Nothing was CG. It was them. It was that group that did it. So they they always do. They have always done very cool stuff like that. That's even clever, smart, funny, scary. The hell is not the flames, it's the hopelessness. Ooh. Like that literal sheet ghost is the part of hell. You don't usually see those in horror movies or horror games. Again, PT. PT inspired. Everything is PT inspired when it's first person horror like this. One thing that I always find very impressive, starting with PT, is just how realistic they've been able to get places, locations, materials. It looks so good. It looks so good in these games. It's some of the best materials I have seen in a long time. It, well, in a long time. This is Pluto some of the best materials to PlayStation in games and in general. PC in 2022. Now here's Inflection Games' Aaron Flynn to tell you more about the studio's debut game, Nightingale. Hmm. I think we've seen Ever this before. Since the day the portal network collapsed, stranding us in these realms, we have searched for a way home. Hello, I'm Aaron Flynn, Hello. CEO of Inflection Games. The developer of Nightingale, a shared world survival crafting game set in a rich, gas lamp fantasy universe. You may have seen our latest gameplay trailer during Summer Game Fest Live this week. In that footage, we revealed the realm card system. Man, this a key mechanic is in our game that allows players <laughs> yeah, to access 20, the I know, portal right? network and explore what is this the magical pace? fey realm. Is this 1984? We want to take this opportunity today to walk you through how this the is system works in a little bit we more detail. We need a game every As a realm five walker, seconds. Stranded in a mysterious and deadly new world. The realm cards are a way to access other realms. Players craft realm cards using magical materials they find in the environment. Yeah, I think I and don't remember where we saw this used before, to activate portals, but which I know that they had a, an announcement. The many trailer. possible realms that exist in the Fey universe. Each card has different properties, like modifiers, that determine different elements of the realm that players connect to, whether that's new environments, the types of creatures, weather patterns, or how rich in a particular resource a realm might be. Players can combine multiple cards expanding Ooh. the possibilities of each new destination. In creating the realm card system, we not only wanted to offer a way for players to discover everything that the realms have to offer, but also empower players with the ability to influence and control the nature of the realms that they explore. This, paired with a sophisticated procedural generation system, makes the possibilities for adventure across the Fey realms almost limitless. We love the choice this offers players, and no shortage of combinations to experiment with and learn. Will you find a realm overrun with dangerous creatures? Or a tranquil place where you can catch your breath? Will it be filled with abundant natural That's resources? That's a really pretty survival game. Or will game. it be dark and battered by storms? Really survival games don't go for the super pretty. We're so excited to see how players explore all the possibilities that realm cards have to offer. And this and is pre-alpha. And the new destinations they may unlock on their journey. It's pretty good for pre-alpha. this becomes a gateway for players to discover endless and it doesn't just look like the of Nightingale. Flip. Thank you for your time. For more information on realm cards, head to playnightingale.com. If these shadows have offended, think but this, and all is mended.
Yeah, this Proof is a really chill. Never trust <laughs> this is a really chill Nightingale event. Nightingale is coming to PC early access in Q4 2022. Okay, world premiere time. Here's the next game from the team that brought you the delightful co-op puzzler, Fogs. the adorable looks like that one oh yeah that i used to love that show which is coming to pc i wouldn't and call Nintendo these Switch models adorable 23. next up we have an update i don't know if i classify it as adorable. About i used to love kids next door. pc and console games let's see what they've got product not yet rated there's such weird voices to host a show like this they're so proper survival craft a lot of survival craft i am tired of seeing survival craft they really need to add something else to survival craft to make it interesting to me like something truly unique not just oh they added this thing that other games also have yeah I already am not big on the genre, so the fact that it's so overdone is, to me, is really good. Sword fighting game? I feel like with a lot of sword fighting games, there isn't enough nuance. I think the route to go, to have some nuance but also not be overly annoying about it, would be to go the um, the route of the Souls games, just because you also add movement, like free 3D movement, and that has like a good variety of moves. But you're also not like you know adjusting the blade. I think once you get to that point, you where the game where you're adjusting the angle of the blade, it's too much. It looks like Bioshock Infinite. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Except the trippy part. Yeah. The other thing too is that I, I I love narratives. I love a good story, and a lot of these don't have that. A lot of these are, are very arcadey, which again, that was fine, your first look but... at Wildmender and Robobeat. What's next, Denise? How about an explosive roguelite where you play as Another not one roguelite? but four blade wielding badasses? I am sold. Shock Infinite mixed with Berserk patch from from System Shock. Just a little bit, a little bit of everything. They were two different. Yeah, they were two different. Now I can sit properly again. One thing that I think is cool, I'm only half paying attention to your work. No, you're good. You're good. Uh, one thing that I think is cool about these games is the combat, but I feel like the fact that they, it ends there, there isn't much more depth to it. 
I find it kind of like, eh. I, I wish there was a little bit more depth to it. I, I think I misspoke there. I wish there was a little bit more story, more stuff to do in it, just other than just fight. I want something more than just fighting to motivate me. I'm not much of a competitive player. Morbid Metal. I don't really usually care for games like this. I'm sure, once again, I feel like for every one of these, there is there is an audience. More amazingly, much one? that I was the work of just one developer. Have you ever Morbid played Metal FF? is coming soon to PC. I have you know, the Doug, only Final I Fantasy I have finished is Final days. Fantasy it's 12. Like, tee up, hit it onto the I green, slightly, get a hole in one, very slightly played it's seven. Too easy. I think I have the perfect solution for and you. And three. And it involves not the American three, not the Western three, cars. the Japanese three. Uh, but that's it. FF14 has. That's what keep, people keep telling me, but at the same time, people say. It's 200 hours long. <laughs> 200 hours long. I might as well watch One Piece. But but no, that that is one that I do I do want to jump in at some point. Uh, yeah, depth was a, a good word for that. Uh, there's a difference between the two versions of three. Oh oh yeah. So in when they were bringing the. Final Fantasies over from Japan, they didn't bring all of them. So the third one they brought to the West was six. But they were they were like, okay, we can't just say one, two, six. We need we it needs to make sense. So they did one, two, three, but the third one was technically the sixth um, Final Fantasy. I've literally cried and laughed. Wait, is this Rocket League 2? Is that actually what it is? No, it's not. Okay. <laughs> you kind, you kind of almost got me there. No, that's what people keep telling me, Nemo. People keep telling me that that was Turbo Golf Racing. It, which they is have cried, they have laughed, they have like fallen in love with these right characters. I'm like, this sounds Xbox, like the most so be sure to check it out after the show. Amazing thing ever. Do you ever feel like you're being And watched, I'm just like Doug? I mean, we are on a live stream right now. I just feel like my whole life is being directed. Uh, I wouldn't worry about it. Cue the sun. I, I mean, run the trailer. This, these two now, interesting in choice. Season, <laughs> interesting choice. American Arcadia broadcast live 24 hours a day. I have seven been super invested and obsessed with the story. Definitely platform. worth. If you love it. Oh. Trevor Hills, welcome to INAC, Gemini I might, Tower. I might have to jump in at You've some point. You've been working with us for nine years. Mm. Welcome to Arcadia, a very futuristic city where all its citizens enjoy a life of luxury and comfort. And also, that they are being Nemo, life if you are looking for Arcadia more people that play, if you want to find more people that play together, there's a bunch planet, of people in my community that play it and tell me to play it. Death. Jonathan, what? aren't you, aren't you one of them? Dead. Dude, I watched someone finish and Walker DLC of 14, oh, absolutely bawling at the end. In American Arcadia, Is that Brit? Dos tipos de gameplay, totalmente Por un lado, I love how I'm barely even paying Explorer, attention to, it, to this. We, we've seen this one too. Acción y plataformeo, persecuciones. No, you haven't played it? Who is it that is always like, hey, Rods, you need to play it? En primera persona, con un tono un poco más pausado. Que nos lleva a experimentar mecánicas de exploración, I mean, estilo y hacking. I mean, post... Usando siempre los puzzles como parte SHB. central de la jugabilidad. So I'm not completely caught up. And okay. upload the loop footage from my cell phone. Was someone else? I watched have to before be sure. Brit right played video it. Is to as right plays camera. it, yes, Please, as is the one that is. So yeah, we have a bunch of people that, that play it, Nemo, the, and uh, <laughs> they're always talking about it. Where everything is perfect, but it and I always alive. joke that it's too bad that it person. isn't free, and they're like, it's free! That is it's taking me almost 600 oh. It doesn't make oh. it popular. The ratings uh, are not working. And the 
Still, this is pretty crazy. I, I have a little bit of OCD, so I end up completing a lot of stuff. I, I'm not like super bad OCD. If I, I can ignore stuff, but a thousand percent worth it. Everyone keeps telling me. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll have to jump in. I'll have to jump in at some point. But I do want to, I definitely want to finish Tunic. Uh, I want to make some videos, make some good content out of Tunic. I think it'll be fun. And <laughs> You'll have to buy, I mean, yeah, it'll only keep getting longer, right? Just like, just like One Piece, a thousand episodes now. I, I'm just not going to jump in. Definitely do it. Have you seen Tunic? If you haven't seen Tunic, I'll actually be playing Tunic soon. I don't know if you're, if you'll be interested, but I really like survival games and horror games, so yeah, that's definitely, definitely not either. <laughs> definitely not. Uh, the cool thing about thanks to out of the blue, I love exploration games where it lets you discover and explore and find TV out mysteries Arcadia. and solve it without Which it ever telling soon. you what you're supposed to do. Now, if you've ever wondered what life was like for Optimus Prime uh, before he got famous, then our next trailer has all but, the answers. Uh, Tunic does a good job of guiding you without having to explicitly point on a map where you need to go, and it is just cute. It's fantastic. It's it's one of the best games of the year. It is right now my number two game of the year. And it's it's top five games. I, I believe I it's top five games. You should check out. Oh, yeah, I need to write that down. I need to write that down. I love that we're watching gas pumping simulator. I mean, talk about playing only things you wish you could do in real life with the price of gas right now. That's definitely a real one. Right, let me add here the, the game to the suggestion box. It is Submerged Hidden Depths. What's up, go. Doug? Oh, my bad. I, the game is so much fun, to and it's a great <laughs> exploration game. Tunic looks so cute. It is. It Alaskan is absolutely truck adorable. Simulator is out now, and the game is coming I to PC and consoles in Q4 2022. $50. Hello, it's everybody. Tough. I'm Doug it's Cockle, tough. Though you may know me best from CD Projekt Red's crazy. beloved Witcher trilogy. Wait, why are we back at the start? Oh, I've just been playing with this weird device that the developers of our next game sent me. Want me to press this other button and see what it does? No, no. Let's just, uh, roll the trailer. She has such a proper British voice. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. That's cool. That's sorted. Anything else? Warning. The current temperature of Earth is approaching 100 million degrees Yeesh. Celsius. They're trying too oh, hard. Yeah, great. they are. Puzzles are the My most Honda takes like 60 plus. I haven't even driven. As an energy center employee, the continued existence yeah. of this station and Earth depends on your No, everyone's been avoiding. Everyone's been avoiding driving, which makes sense. It makes sense. Yeah, I like the cute oh, AI face on the gun. This game looks interesting. Thanks, Astra. This has some unique things to it that I'm already. Okay, so I mean, I love Portal. Puzzle, this feels brain hurts, this feels very portally. Energy, then rewind Earth. Exactly. Rewind Earth. Are you sure about that? Oh, this is so portally. I am kind of into it. Portal is also one of my favorite games. <gasps> They're match. It's Portal, but with Time Gun, yeah. This is very portally, but I'm interested. Portal, yeah. Portal 2 is one of my favorite games. Oh, they, they turned it back. Oh. The Entropy. Well, I'm adding that to the wish list. And it has cute robots, so 
That was the entropy it's center, like which portal, is coming to more PC anime. And consoles in 2022. Next up, we've got a special presentation from some incredible Ukrainian developers. Ooh. Games development Ooh, can be challenging at the best of times, and with the ongoing conflict, we wanted to highlight and celebrate the incredible work this they year. continue to do. Let's take a look. Yeah, this is cool. I'm glad that they're doing this. Wait, did it say? No, it's on. It's on. It's on PC. I got it on Steam. at 5 p.m. Our cities were bombed. The war drastically changed game development. During the first months of war, the work on the game was mostly stopped. We sleep in shifts and regular air raid alerts have made us move to our apartment's hallway pretty much permanently. Mm. My teammates Ruslan and Xu have spent a week inside Harkin Metro covering from never-ending airstrikes and had to reach the city railway station by underground tunnels to evacuate. This is crazy. Hey I'm Alex from Weasel Token, an indie duo based in Kyiv, Ukraine. Our current project is a peaceful puzzle adventure called Puzzles for Clef. The story's premise is quite simple. Following an invitation from her sister, a young bunny girl named Clef, travels to the Sky Island of their ancestors to participate in a huge treasure hunt. But of course there would be some interesting twists for those willing to dig deeper. Gameplay-wise, you'll get to explore the island with tons of secrets all over the place. Oh, this one's... Of variety was, of yeah, this was. And cute and this was in the other direct. And I think they all... From time to time you'll oh, also need to learn and they also mentioned special that. melodies that influence the world around you. We that this really one was it if you followed Weasel talking on social media from uh Twitter, from Instagram, Ukraine. Facebook, please wish Maybe it looks super fun with the music integration. That I like games that mix lot. music also and stuff like that. Discord server. In, we in like the concepts and puzzles and gamers. things you have to do. My name is Vitali and I represent Marvel Collective. Together we are working on Zero Losses, a short open world driving game with horror elements and hollow atmosphere. Zero losses is our inevitable reaction to the events surrounding us. While most games there's about war focus Ooh, there's a demo. on action and combat, we wanted to bring a different perspective, filled with oppressive dark atmosphere, showcasing the unsettling aftermath of the modern warfare. You can follow us. This on game would Twitter be crazy in VR. YouTube. Look for Marvel Collective. I think if they were able to push it into VR, that would be super interesting. Never and this not that it's not like this, but... Detective. Point and click game about a cat detective who tried to solve the murder of ex-mayor of the sunny city and also tries to solve the mystery of never-ending downpour. You can subscribe to my social networks. Point and click, I'm in. Also, you can visually... Yeah, you don't see many point and clicks. Thank you very much. Glory to you. It looks Hello, very world. interesting. My name is Andrei Bichkovsky. I'm indie game developer originally from Kyiv. Together with a this lot of team, I'm Kyiv. working on turn-based Mars Colony city builder called Farlanders. In my games, I'm always builder. trying to make some unique mechanics to stand out. Except for colony building, the core mechanic in the game is terraforming. Also, in the game you can learn new technologies, trade with other colonies, and explore underground caves. So to summarize, if Farlanders seems like your cup of tea, which listed on Steam or try out for Landers Prologue, which is already available for free. Mm -hmm. Seems interesting. Hi, my name is Albert Koner. I am the developer of the indie game Through the Nightmares. Through the Nightmares is a hardcore platformer about Sunman that travels in the mysterious and frightening world of the children nightmares. The player will have to overcome all children's fears Ooh, they can change and size. fight with the almighty god of dreams, Morpheus. If you want to support us, visit our Steam page, add the game to your wishlist, play the demo, and give us your feedback in A lot of them have way. demos. I'm kind of... I'm terrible at them, but I love them. That's fair. I miss Sierra. Point and clicks are my jam. For more information on our Games for Ukraine presentation Limbo. and a list of charities that would welcome your support. If you like the animation series Gravity this makes me Falls think of Among the Sleep. Yes. Wall, you're going to love our next game. Lost the name in of it made me is think a puzzle of Among adventure the Sleep. that follows two siblings lost in their own imagination. Limbo is an amazing game. I remember playing it when it first came out, and I didn't really know what it was. I was so confused. 
<laughs> I was like, what? Because it was right at the beginning of indie games. I got it pretty much at launch. Uh, and I was just like, wow, I've never played anything like this. I've never played the sequel. I know it's not a direct sequel, but... I, I really want to, because people say it's really good as well. I forget the name of it. It's Inside. Inside. Yeah, it's not a direct sequel. It's not like the same kid, the same story. Uh, but it's pretty much a spiritual successor, I guess. Chikong? Chikong? Oh, I love in animation or cartoons when, like, derpy things have eyes that go like sideways to the opposite sides i i don't know why i just love lost it lost in play lands on pc and nintendo switch if you like August limbo 10th, 2022 have you played yeah so inside you know is what? kind of the sequel of it the and i haven't the played show, it and i could kill for a nice refreshing drink is there i it's one of those that i'm like oh i really want to play like i really want to play <laughs> we don't have any real beer but this next trailer is sure play to quench your inside. thirst inside yeah, that's another one that people are like, you have to play it. I have Inside on Steam. I don't remember how I got it. I feel like that's a lot of people with their Steam libraries. It's like you woke up after being drunk, you're hungover, and then you just see a hundred games in your library and you're like, how did you get there? I don't remember ever buying Coffee Making Simulator. <laughs> or whatever this is, Beer Making Simulator? You know, they have PC building simulator. Ooh, that was... Oh, I was fully sober when I bought it. <laughs> All this stuff. No, but that's just the feeling you get after when you go back and look at it. <laughs> You're just like, I don't remember any of this. Oh, wow. So for uh, the Entropy Center, it says, similar to games like Portal 2 and Cyberpunk, which is kind of feels like it where it's more the aesthetic of cyberpunk the trick. but the concept is portal. coming to pc and consoles Brewmaster. in 2022 with a demo available right now on steam next let's check out PC an building sim for Bramble, is the mountain game a fun game a puzzle platformer heavily inspired by nordic folklore and if you know how to play that game you know how to Hello build everyone. pcs my name is Easy. eleanor and i'm the lead <laughs> artist at dimfrost studio and uh, today i will introduce one of our creatures that you'll meet on your journey oh. in bramble the mountain king a grim adventure based on dark nordic fables Nekin is just one of our favorite Nima, would this be the type of stuff that you're you're Fun, interested in? Like some of this more darker as well? Or close do you like mostly water. like literally horror? In Ramble, Nekin is a lonely creature living in a lake. I've had to rebuild my PC twice. So and that <laughs> game is educated. It really is. It really is. Life, it helps out. He was just a simple man who loved playing his violin. Unfortunately, I really want to try PC building sim. I built my PC, so I imagine it's it's so much fun. Him. And the career mode, the you actually get to get computers from girl, other people and fix them. Uh, One day, the sometimes because I, I kind of do that so in real life. Sometimes that uh, it's kind of my side, him. my side job. He marched into the I, village playing forbidden melodies that made everyone dance until their flesh I, I and bone got worn down. I think it's fun. I play pretty much anything. Leaving behind That's fair. shuffling corpses, All right. still trying Noted. to dance Noted. to Megan's melodies. His love wasn't spared death either. Devastated, Megan left the town. Have you played? Have you guys played Franbo? Learning people with his death. I remember music. there was a, like a. Megan is just one of the creatures kind of you'll meet in Ramble the Mountain King. Oh, this you is dark. You will meet many more, both big and small, good and evil, on your journey throughout the beautiful yet deadly world of Bramble. Yeah. Bramble the Mountain King is coming soon to PC that was and twisted. consoles. Be sure to add That's Bramble one I to recommend to people if they like Thank horror you for games watching. and stuff like that. I have Franbo, but I haven't played it. If you like scary games, I know that's a good one. When I see one. Bramble the Mountain King is coming soon to PC and consoles. Okay, now I'm no mobster, but I've got an offer that you can't refuse in the form of a world premiere. They're going. They're going for it. Fear is a great series too. I was actually not a big fan of Brave of Fear. I feel like maybe I, I played it too late. I, I, I didn't end up liking it. And those who want to get it. And it's one I know that a lot of people love, but it just didn't it just didn't click with me. 
this conflict are also those I have fears just <laughs> fight on I have many fears that was like a childhood thing yeah like I played it recently and it, it just didn't really click with me I was like oh. perhaps the right and I think it crashed a lot on me too so it was kind of frustrating of one story or another the best way to get rich is sometimes to get remembered. I haven't played medium but I've heard a lot of good things about it that's bloober team right bloober struggle is it Bluebird? The fight for your life. Where, whatever that team is, and they do a good the job. They do a good job with uh, with horror games. Enemy of the state is coming to PC and consoles in 2024. I love the whole duality now, and like so you have the normal world trailers, and you have like the dark it's world. For a break. It's very tea? from Coffee? everything I've seen. It's very hey, Silent Hill inspired. Oh, I've got Silent something Hill better than awesome tea. Too. You just have to follow me through one of my portals. No need to be afraid though. Finish that game in a we day because I couldn't put it away. That's uh, awesome. This never ends well for that is, me. <laughs> that's awesome. I love when you find that game. Oh my god. Where am I? It's so bright. And what's that smell? Lilac and gooseberries? And uh, no, Doug. This is the virtual show floor. Every booth in here has a game attached, with a demo going live after the show. Google Future Games Show Steam to find the dedicated page and try out any of the games you like the look of. Let's go. Just when you thought you'd had enough of being tarnished this year, we've got a fantasy RPG set in the hey, ruins of two it divine was an kingdoms. Uh, the tarnishing of joke. Juxtia features awesome boss battles, yeah. high risk, high reward combat, and a beautiful score. Is this live now? It's also launching later we this chilling. year in summer 2022. What's we next, just chilling. Denise? From one ruined kingdom to another, attention. let's take a look at the grimdark world of orcs. A this blend is the of one tower we missed, defense and deck and building gameplay. And I was orcs having invites dinner. players to fortify castles and expand now their I've territory while fighting against an onslaught of, you guessed it, orcs. With over 300 cards and four factions to play with, orcs is coming to PC later this year. Yeah, after the ones over this here, morning, this is so much slower pace. By the Lucas Arts I, let's check in on a twisted tale. I like it. With hand-drawn backgrounds and a Wait, catalog I of it? comical characters, Wait, what did this I guess? old school adventure will have you giggling. Oh wow, this looks like old school cities, adventure style. Mighty pirate ships, even like the kind of weird. Inspired by games like Slay the Spire and Orcs? Monster Train, here comes a rock and roll roguelite where players use musical abilities to fend off a mosh pit of monsters. This diverse deck builder is a bona fide battle of the bands. So many deck builders now. Team of vicious so many deck builders. To defend against I think of Slay the Spire set the stage and now Reptilian everyone's Rising following. Is a tactics Slay the Spire game is so good. Where you take on a barbaric horde of lizards Slay the Spire and futuristic so good. robot dinosaurs. Fighters that is a game I recommend. Time, if you enjoy card games format, with like a, a roguelike to the tabletop stuff, style of the 1980s. Slay the Spire. Reptilian Rising features multiple replayable levels. Oh, you're making of fun of the objectives. presenter's script. You can also yeah, it's kind of cheesy. It's kind of cheesy. PvP <laughs> to see which tactician ends up on top. I'm usually okay if they Think don't add a bunch I of little jokes and stuff and like more, that. Because many times the jokes just don't land. is a cute chemist simulator from Mass Hive Media. With rich pixel art and a soaring score, you'll gather ingredients to brew precious remedies that help the townsfolk of Moon. That's Pack your cute, satchel uh, because XR. Potion Permit is coming to PC and console in 2022. Next up, we've got a gorgeous rhythm game. Set this is in a world so overdone. Like, why did they make Melatonin a virtual sleep games? Boot. Kids players in a pastel world where they must unravel a narrative oh. by engaging in charming challenges Devolver complemented by a bouncy, it. vibrant score. Devolver up, just nails it. Melatonin looks so much fun. Like I was mentioning in the other presentation that it showed up. If you like and song, Rhythm Heaven, try to develop a dynamic that, that seems like the new show. thing. I wish they would the bring Rhythm Heaven spectacle. back. Decide I love your Rhythm, genre, rhythm, rhythm, listen to the rhythm crowd, Heaven and so make much. valuable friends in this handcrafted lo-fi odyssey. If you've ever wanted to play tag in a graveyard full of ghouls, then this game is for you. I don't think I, I've ever wanted to do that. is a creepy, cute, asymmetrical oh, multiplayer cute, game from Konami. Players have three minutes Konami. to round up runaway well, humans or escape the grasp of malevolent not monsters, each done. with unique abilities. And that's a wrap on the virtual show floor. Remember to head to the Future Games Konami. Show Steam page if you want to play these beauties after the show free of charge. <laughs> Minecraft and does this on the reg. Really? You can Google Future huh. Games Show Steam to download all those demos after the show.
Winds howling. I think that means there's another world premiere on the horizon. See, this is the kind of fast like the other one, but Peggy it's only 18. a section and they're actually explaining the game. No, yeah, it's way slower than the other one. I prefer the slower pace than what what they did earlier today because I, I couldn't even keep track. Sally the activist, Gavin the disgruntled ex-employee, Frank the vengeful ex-con. I like the 70s aesthetic. Interesting, seems like turn-based combat of some sort. Seems like an XCOM type thing. The servers will have like a spawn area with different types of locations to teleport. Oh, interesting. Interesting. I had never, I'm not, I kind of missed the whole, the whole Minecraft. No, I didn't miss it, but I was there really early Sunday and then Gold, I which is didn't coming stick in around. 2022. So I missed a lot of like the developments that have happened. To VR platforms. But I doubt you'll be able to keep your fancy headsets on for too long when you're playing. Let's take a look. What is this? This seems interesting. This seems interesting. That pompadour, yeah. Nope. Not in VR. Imagine this in VR now. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Nope. Nope. I want an admin for a Pixelmon server. I was an admin for a Pixelmon server for two years. Oh, that's cool. I was also a head builder and built a recreation of the Gen 1 Kanto. That's crazy. That is crazy. That's really cool, though. That is really cool. Yeah, I... 99% of the stuff about Minecraft, I couldn't tell you anything about. I completely missed that boat. Completely missed it. <laughs> Horror games are hard I'll enough hide, without please. VR. There's Do no way I'm doing it in VR. To VR platforms in yeah, fall this one too, looking very realistic like that. I don't think now we, it's we have gotten to very realistic yet with the power of the FYQ computers and the VR headsets. Cheer. But I feel like it, when we get to really, really, really immersive VR, it's gonna be like, Show can you put horror in there? General Lin's unit has arrived. I don't know if I could play horror General in Lin, VR. The top dog oh, baby, my anxiety would be horrible. <laughs> no, yeah, I, I don't usually like them. I'll watch them. I don't play them. I'll watch them. I'm okay with watching them. To think we'd meet like this. Once it's all been poured out. Oh, is this a, one a, a Chinese made game? Born. Thanks. I was super proud of it. The tech guy is supposed to get me a copy so I can finish it and have it for me since I since the owner <laughs> sold it to a random late. person who took off with it. Oh, probably someday I'll be able to show people. Oh, that sucks. I'm sorry that happened. That is Shelly, terrible. Respond. What happened? It's really crazy that you can lose it like that. But I feel like more and more that's becoming the reality of not only servers like that, but even like official servers for certain games. They just take it offline and then hours and hours of work that people have made and done. Uh, are just completely gone. Yeah, I took a break from Minecraft for a while. I, I'd imagine, I'd imagine that does not sound fun. Does not sound fun losing. I mean, I get mad over losing stuff that, that took me like a week. Infinite is if you out were now on PC doing it for and is two years, to PlayStation, Xbox, I can and only Nintendo imagine. Switch. It's coming to the Switch? Next what? up, we've got a gothic horror Metroidvania that looks like a pixely version of Bloodborne. Let's check it out. 
good description. Oh, I love beautiful pixel art. Beautiful pixel art. It's beautiful. <laughs> While I won't do the horror, I will do any of the FromSoft games any day. They are so fantastic. I am a fan of dark fantasy. And I love the depth of the lore. And again, it's that you discover stuff yourself. I think that that is, the more I think about it, that's kind of one of the main things of games I really enjoy. The games that really let you discover stuff. And it doesn't need to be something like this. Breath of the Wild does that super well, right? I built some crazy shit though. I built a two scale model of the Titanic in survival. <laughs> Years ago, I created a ref club in the town I grew up in. That is crazy. That is insane. I mean, I would love to see that. That is. I, I feel like. As a streamer, that is definitely something if you if you ever want to go back into Minecraft, that could definitely attract some people. That would definitely bring some eyes towards it. So that could definitely be a big thing. Yeah, I've spent hours of my life in Minecraft, but I can't build a basic the last faith <laughs> is coming to PC. Let's be honest, basic house, hardest thing. Hardest thing you can build now, is a let's check simple in with house. Friends from Team 17. I just do dirt. We'll have a montage of exciting upcoming Ooh, games. Ooh, montage to show from Team 17. Peggy 18. I don't have enough imagination. I, me neither. I, I don't. Come on, Frank. We need to these I can copy yeah. things. I can't design something from scratch. I have a hard time doing that. Same, I usually do well with a reference. Yeah, I can't do it. I cannot figure stuff out on my own. My house ends up being dirt prisons. <laughs> I, what I actually like to do, what I like the aesthetic of is wood with glass. I think just wooden glass, which is very simple to make. Uh, so it worked out for me, but I, I like that. Even in real life, I like that lighter wood with glass. I think it looks very pretty. So I would just make all my house, my houses of wood. I tried making one, and this was like 2010, 2011. Uh, I tried making a bunch of houses on cliffs. They kind of hung out and they almost looked like a spaceship. They had like a dome on it, but it didn't really make any sense. I was just like, cool concepts, let's try to do it. And it, it's the added difficulty of trying to build something in the air, right? Where you're, you don't really have a ground to put stuff on. Ooh, what's for dinner? I had chicken with a salsa and rice. Some, not, not anything crazy. So, I, I finished it. I ate every last grain of it. So, it was very good. Oh yeah, what is everyone having for dinner? Or if you have had dinner already? Well, yeah, if you had dinner already, or if you're about to. I would love to know what your poison of choice was. So, but mine was pretty tasty. I cannot complain. A nice big old plate of... Oh, I don't know yet. I need to figure that out. <laughs> no, it was... I have to say, the people I live with have been very kind. Uh, they've kind of... I told them that I, I would probably be streaming and doing stuff for most of the day. And they uh, picked up a lot of the stuff. They've been super kind to me. Uh, for me to be able to stream and stuff, so I'm very thankful. I just got home with some Taco Bell. Yes, join us. Have dinner with us. What did you get at Taco Bell? I, I have to say, I have a hard time with Taco Bell, though, because my it, it, it destroys me. Taco Bell just absolutely destroys me. And the portions are kind of little. Granted, they're cheap, so you can get more stuff. Oh, hello. Hello. Uh...
Those don't usually get me. It needs to be really loud, then it'll get me, but... Be sure to wishlist any games that stood out, and you can read more about them on GamesRadar.com. But I rarely get Taco Bell. I know that they changed their menus a lot recently, so I don't even know what they have. I haven't had it in a long time. Not really. Time. Probably just making That's a mess. Soap. You'd be surprised. Try complex governmental structures and organized religion. At least that's the brief I've got for Tinykin, which is up next. What? Man, there's so many of these games now that are like 3D environments and 2D spreads. Their new box Welcome is really good. The oh. fascinating world of Tiny Kid. What comes in it? Tiny Kid are extraordinary little creatures. Oh, th has it? Have Hello, you guys played? Uh... Really pose a threat. But in great numbers, they are exemplary. Paper Mario Look, Thousand Year Door. Now. There's a part in that game that's just ah, essentially this. This is kind of like Pikmin. Okay, this is just straight up Pikmin. Extremely powerful despite their <laughs> small just stature. Oh. Look here, green tiny kid. Extremely resourceful in reaching daring new heights. But yeah, I, I actually really like the 2D mix with 3D. Even like this, it doesn't need to be pixel art. I think that this looks very nice. Oh, wow, they're really taking the the Pikmin concept to the next level. And that's everything. I feel like it happens to... Wait, what's this? It happens to Nintendo well, a lot. Where Best they'll create a new concept. A red tiny kid. Adorable. With an and people will go out and tumble. make a bunch of stuff on top of that. That's cute, though. This looks interesting. <gasps> Ring pops. Anyone Tinykin ring is coming pops? to PC, PlayStation, <gasps> Xbox, and It's a different color ring Switch. pop on this one. You know when you're finished cleaning, but you realize you missed a bunch of crumbs? It's like, just when I thought I was out, they pull me back in. Yeah, it's like when the boss orders a hit and you've got to go clean it up after hours. Yeah. Mm, sort of. Maybe this next game is for you. Chips five layer beef beefy burrito. Five Four layer. People sharing a table. Sops or I'm hard easy. taco. And toasted cheddar chalupa. A plate full of troubling memories. I'm gonna have to look up what a chalupa is. Yeah. I'm telling and you, it's a been a while since I've been to regret. Mother, should I run for president? 505 Games and Draw Distance mm. are proud to present. Serial Cleaners. Okay. I just ate, but you guys are getting me hungry again. Okay, what is this game? Oh. Are you the cleanup crew? Oh. oh. It's like a bigger taco. <laughs> fair. Fair. Yeah, and I was looking at like a taco, but it has the big thick shell. And that's the good stuff. A story of loyalty, betrayal, betrayal, and crime. Lots of crime. The past they share is all that stands in the way of redemption. If you remember the 90s differently, their dirty work is the reason why. The sequel to Serial Cleaner? Ah, so that's how you get wine out of a carpet. Serial Cleaners is launching in September on Serial PC, Cleaner Nintendo was a game. Switch, PlayStation, and Xbox. It was stealthy, you were supposed to clean you up ever the mess. Miss taking your shoes off in front of strangers and spending your life savings on a cup of coffee? Then boy, do we have the simulator for you. Taking off your shoes. Oh, plain writing, okay. This is a hard market to go into with 
Microsoft uh, Flight Simulator, that game is just insane. Like, if you want to get into this, it's, it's gonna be hard. It's going to be difficult. But I guess I applaud an indie company trying to come in here and, and do it. Yeah, I actually do enjoy me some good flight simulator. Oh! Wait, you're the driver? Okay, that, that is suddenly more interesting. I want to drive people's luggage around and just drop everything. That's a airport sim. Who? Okay, we need a we Don't need a patent this. We need to make we need to make a game just about driving London, suitcases PC around and, Xbox and trying to keep X them in. And S in 2023. This is a game Let's that needs to happen. Let's up with our ones to watch montage. Keep your eyes peeled for several exciting games that are coming in the near future and check out this I'm just awesome saying I think that would be a big success. From the team behind Inculinati. Inculinati? <laughs> cyberpunk styles to that. I love the cyberpunk style, not the game, but just the actual cyberpunk aesthetic. I love, I love that kind of stuff, that kind of look. Dinkum, dinkum bokum. Was that Jake the dog? It was Jake the dog. Jake the dog and Finn the human. Yeah, it's cause they're showing multiverses. Apparently they have Ultra Instinct Shaggy. I love how they, a lot of these people, a lot of these fighting games incorporate the memes into them. Shadows of Doubt. This looks interesting, but again, I'm a sucker for the pixelated stuff. The 3D pixelated stuff, like early PlayStation 1 looks and stuff like that. I love how those things look. What is this? Instinction. Ooh, this looks very nice. I don't know if this is gameplay or what, but it looks good. Ooh, beyond some, this also looks like that era of. Did any of those games turn your head? Check out gamesradar.com for more information. Next up, we've got a new game from the minds behind Happy Game, Amanita Design. In Phonopolis, you'll help Felix solve playful puzzles in an avant-garde fiberboard city. We couldn't quite work out how either, but what you're about to see is actual gameplay. Interesting. This is actual gameplay. This kind of looks incredible. The animation style. I was mentioning this earlier in the previous presentation, but I love how we've gotten to the point where you can have the exact style of a cartoon, of an animation in a game, like a 2D animation in a game, and have it move and just be exactly the same. I think it's such a great time to have games nowadays where you're able to do that and just have this gorgeous game that just plays and moves like a real animation. That was Phonopolis, which is coming soon. That looked interesting. Now I didn't understand the, the point of it. Now we've got a where you play as a lucid dreamer in a world of endless slumber. Ooh, I, I don't know that one. Please this looks interesting to me as well. Please I like this, these kinds of concepts. It casts a shadow as endless as the dream. Shade, succumbing to all manner of desire, willed into being by the dream. Very pretty, and I, as someone who loves like Lovecraftian horror and stuff like that, that's my cosmic horror is my favorite type of horror. Stuff like this, just like yes, give me more. So, this is a. This dream is ours. You need only ask for what you desire to will it into being. A safe return, a better world. And Simply well animated rest. sprites again. Mm. Okay, I'm off. I'll leave you with the lurk. And have a great rest of your stream. It was nice. To, yeah, it was so nice to meet you. Thank you so much.
for stopping now by, here, for following, for everything. The only one I really around. appreciate it. And yeah, have a good evening. Don't and sleep. Hope on you have a good Sunday come, tomorrow and a good is, week if I don't get to see you again until then. Coming I'm soon sure to I'm going to get to see you on the disc. Our next game follows a pilot yeah, who care. crash lands in the Arctic after his plane is chopped in half by mysterious forces. But he also has a court mandated therapy robot called Alfie. Every cloud, right? <laughs> but he has a therapy robot. Yeah, no problem. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. You know, I just want. I want to be able to help friends to just really get there to those goals as much as possible. Yeah. Good luck yeah, getting the really viewership. Good. This looks interesting. Yes, enjoy the food and drinks and the hammocks. Donovan? Donovan, you copy? This looks like a forest hey, type. Drone. The forest. Wake up. I must have unexpectedly powered off. Yeah, so did I. I do want to help in any way I can, Kai. You can help by staying out of it. Oh, get out of here! Hello? It's like that Kai? one with Robin Williams and the coconut. No, Tom oh, God. Hanks I thought and the coconut. Lost Was that Donovan no, I heard the, on the radio? No, the ball. <laughs> what, you're spying on me now? I got it covered, boys. I forget what that one is called. Landed no, by some big-ass silos. A power station, maybe? Wait, power station? Out here? Uh-oh. Hey, Donovan. This looks like it could be interesting. It's because he probably doesn't want the robot, because it's his therapy robot that he was mandated to have. No thermal vision, no lasers, no useful functions whatsoever. Can you do anything to actually help? I am happy to talk it through with you. This could be interesting. That one could be interesting. Uh, Doug, it's your line again. Oh, sorry. I'm just canceling that trip to Alaska. That was Arctic Awakening, which is coming to PC, Mac, and consoles Not in the 2023. Jokes. Not the jokes. We've had a lot of fast-paced games in this showcase, but none quite as quick as our next trailer. Let's stay on track and check this one out. Let's see what kind of racing game. I've been kind of itching this for a good racing game. This is not a challenge game. for the faint-hearted. Where the 20 best drivers in the world come together to take on some of the world's most historic circuits. Okay, this circuits. is probably not for me. And that legacy continues today. I like it's lights out and away we go. I like Gran Turismo where it's a good mix of, you know, not 100% realistic, but it's closer to that. It's more of a simulator. But it's not all There's not the way. much in it at the front with the two cars I, constantly vying for first place. I do prefer battle with neither driver giving an inch. Something that's not completely we might still be early in the season, a sim but that and not completely arcade relax. either. So, is up for Gran Turismo, I think, does a good mix, but I don't have a PlayStation. Stage. So I've been looking for a good replacement on on the PC. Here we go. With and the Azerbaijan I Grand haven't really found a really good replacement on the PC. I've been... One of those things, think, there isn't the right the mix. With the, the step we've done. I used to play a lot of racing games with my dad. He really oh, enjoys no, racing. He really enjoys the more, you know, classic sports. Racing, soccer games. So we would play FIFA back in the day a lot. Um, and... Strap yourselves FIFA in. Is a this game. is Formula One. <laughs> Morally and in many other ways as well. Oh, this was F1 manager, so you're not really driving, you're just managing. Gotcha. <laughs> Who wants to be in the driver's seat when you can be in the driver's driver's seat? Anyway. Don't forget to tune into the PC Gaming Show to see the first gameplay from F1 Manager. Oh, everyone, which is I am excited for PC, tomorrow. Tomorrow at 1 p.m. is the big one. On August 25th, do not miss tomorrow's presentation. Tomorrow at 1 p.m. Put your dudes up, folks, because it's this next game is a certified Bethesda and Microsoft DKO. together. Wait, what does that mean? That uh, one's going to be divine knockout a knockout. Duh. Oh, she said knockout, too. Uh, 
I, at least I hope, it's the only big company that's having a... having a, a conference. So I, I hope it's good. I hope it's good. This looks like a, a mobile game. That was Divine Knockout, which is coming soon. <laughs> Our coming next soon. game is an adventure epic Ooh. where you navigate a world full of tricky puzzles with the help of your robo friend. It's true that behind every main character, there's a smart, talented companion to help them get through it all. Denise, are you referring to Yennefer? Well, if the shoe fits, here's Planet of Lana. Their little witcher jokes. Ima. I'm learning. I'm learning the language. Becoming one. Oh, that's pretty. This looks like concept art paintings. And I, I love me some concept art wallpapers, as you can see. Yellow. This is kind of like Brother, Tale of Two Brothers, or whatever it's called. As well as like Inside, not, well I guess Inside maybe. I haven't really played it though. Limbo and that kind of stuff. As well as the Eco Team games. So Eco, The Last Guardian, where you have a little partner, there you go. Oh, and that's very limbo. Big old spider. Oh, I wouldn't turn on the electricity there. Oh, this is like that Cusco scene where they're stuck in the cliff. That's what I'm so interested about in this game is the, all these big machines all, all over the place. And is a little buddy a, a robot? Aww. I like all the things. Whoa. We need more games with robo animals. Where like robo animals kind of took over real animals. I think Horizon has it, but I, I want more of those. So like he was riding there a, a robot that seemed to be completely like aware of itself. I think that that's super cool too. An on earth odyssey. Planet of Llama. Meh. So maybe it is a Cusco reference. Planet of Lana is coming to PC and Xbox in 2022. Cool, cool. This next reveal is a pretty big deal. No spoilers, but let's just say I really oh. didn't see this one coming. I, oh. I didn't expect this. I didn't expect this. Swery is back. This is Deadly Premonition 2. It performed horribly on the Switch. It was exclusive to the Switch too. But now he's bringing it back. It's a cult classic. It's time to put our skills to the test. Now? It's so jank, but Deadly everyone loves it because it's weird in the right now ways. On PC. That's right. Now. Today. This second. Go check it out. Based on the notes on my script, it looks like the producers were struggling for jokes on this one. There's something about Geralt hunting a moomin. Honestly, it's not even worth it. This trailer is adorable, and I just need you all to see it. Everyone, because of, because it's bad. Everyone loves it because it's bad, and it's weird. It's essentially, you know, what's the name of that super weird Twin Peaks? It's essentially Twin Peaks the game. <laughs> it's essentially Twin Peaks the game, so it has that weirdness to it, but it's janky. 
It's janky Twin Peaks. Haven't seen Twin Peaks. It's weird. <laughs> I, I don't know how else to describe it. Like, there's a character of a lady that has a log, and that's her whole thing. She talks to the log and stuff like that. And a bunch of... But it's not done it comedically. It just is. So it's not like they're telling jokes about it. It just exists in that world. It's somewhat of a... It's a, like a serious story, but with some... Like comic relief that isn't like hyper comic Melody of Moomin right? Valley is it's coming to PC and consoles in 2023 moments of with a soundtrack from Icelandic post-rock band Sigur Ross. Last but not least, we've got a brand new Pokemon? multiplayer survival game that fans of Pokemon are sure to enjoy. Let's check it out. That looks like a Wulu. It's my favorite Pokemon. This is just straight up Pokemon. What? They all look like po they all look like What in the world? They all Bowser? Lucario? You can shoot them? You can put them in a gun? Eevee, whatever Frumpkin or whatever it's called. The other one? They all have analogs to Pokemon. Yeah, this is straight up Pokemon with guns. They also have straight up Pokemon with guns. What? No, they're slaves. We have to save them. What is this? Poke gun, Scarlet and Violet. That would make sense. This is the new Pokemon generation. <laughs> Lulus with guns? Can't wait to check that one out. Um, well, excuse me? Show. It's been an honor, Doug. Hmm. Check the back of your script. I think we missed something. Okay. Do you also have one more thing written in blood? Is that normal? Yes, I do. And no, this is not normal. I'm going to go sharpen my silver sword. What's the one more thing? It better be good. <laughs> You're surprised the Pokemon company hasn't slapped them with a lawsuit yet. I think it's different enough. Okay, if you don't want to see booty, don't look at the screen. Everything else is fine. Nothing else to worry about. Only if you don't want to see booty. You're still- We're going till midnight. We're never ending, Brit. We're, we're here till- We're here till the end. Now that really is the end of our show. But remember to try out oh, all the that? demos on our future game show Steam page and head on over to gamesradar.com for more follow-up coverage on all of the games that you've seen today. I'd like to say a big thank you to everyone involved in this year's future games show powered by Mana and, of course, you Booby. guys watching at home. No. Uh, I'm Doug Cockle. And I'm Denise Goff. Booty. And this, this has, has been, been the Future Game show, show, June 2022. 2022. Thank you, Geralt. Thank you, Yennefer. You know me. Came in for the boobies. It's all about the booba. Hey, Brit. And then you wonder why Luke turned out the way he did. <laughs> it's I kid, lights I out and away we go. Well, there you go. This one had a, some some interesting hits. They, I actually added a few things to my wish list from this one, so definitely had a few positives. I think the strongest was was strongest one was the entropy center that one by far was was the one that i was like mm. this one too i need to write this down what was the name of that one i wish they showed the name of that one. so they had pokemon with gun brit they had pokemon with guns like straight up a wooloo not even joking a wooloo with a machine gun 
They're going. Ah. Oops. Ah. All analysis conclude that you have most likely survived. So, there's some good stuff. Oh, I didn't get. I can't believe I didn't get the name of the. I wonder. I wonder if it shows up. In the summer game announcement. Oh, future future game direct. It might be here. Boyfriend gun. Oh my. Oh my. Boyfriend. I don't. I actually don't think this is it. Mana is the game oh, future game show. card that puts the power okay, back me... in the hands of players. So with every quest All right, we're done. Let me just find it before I forget. And then we can definitely... Oh yeah, The Last Faith. It's called The Last Faith. That one also got me. Come on. Don't be shy. Add it to the wish list. There you go. Yeah. You can just rewind the video. Shh. We don't, we don't need to talk about that. We don't, we don't need to talk about that. It, we, we don't. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna prep. I'm gonna use the bath, bathroom. We're gonna use the bathroom uh, and get ready for some tunic. We're just gonna jump right into tunic. We're starting a little bit earlier. I might put some, some uh, notifications on a bunch of, of communities, communitized on, twi on Twitter, I mean. So, I will be right back. Enjoy the chill musics. And, yeah, I'll be back with some tunic. Ah! Ah! I gotta go have my own stream started. Nice! Have a good night. Have a good night. Bye, Pronto. Oh, hello, Pronto. Welcome back. Ooh, you appear here. Your emotes will appear. On this screen. So feel free to span emotes and get banned. No, I'm kidding. I don't, I don't have bands enabled for that, but I will be right back. Give me a moment.
Hello. Uh, we're not starting now now. I guess I'll... I'll... I'm, I'm getting stuff ready to go. I'm switching stuff in my... Switching stuff in my stream elements. So if you use what's up, you, you get the right thing. Right now you won't get the right thing because it's not set up properly. Uh... Or maybe it is because I forgot to set it up for E3. But then I need to send some, some little messages. Get everything going here. I hope everyone enjoyed. This has been probably the craziest day of streaming I've had in a long time. Because I, it's been pretty much non-stop. wondering if I'm actually going to get to finish Tunic tonight. I feel like I'm getting pretty close to the end. Ooh, two in a row. Nice. need to reactivate the redeem so you guys can redeem whatever you want again all redeems will be back so feel free to redeem all the stuff all the stuff oh, i'm seeing myself uh, how do i do that is it community viewer rewards channel points yeah 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 okay, let's activate everything again Make sure everyone's eating well. What is this? I was sent a message. Okay, we're just community events. Mm -hmm. Alright. That is everyone. Alright. Did you, did they show which fire at that show? <sighs> not this one. They didn't show it at this one. They have not shown it again. They showed it earlier in another show, but they did not show it at this one. It did look interesting. Which fire, and I'll pull it up here while we, we stall for a little bit. Make sure anyone that wants to watch uh, Tunic is able to stop by. Yeah, it was in the summer, summer Games Fest. Oh, there's a two-minute demo. Okay, well, I'll, I'll watch that. Here. This is just straight up a two-minute demo. Yes, it's me. What? How are you doing, me? We're just looking at a couple of things before we go into, uh, oh, let me turn off the, the music, before we go into Tunic and possibly finishing it. Uh, I have been streaming since 11 a.m. I, I've been having fun. I've been having fun. I had a, an event with a bunch of other streamers uh, today. We got to watch a bunch of conferences as well. 
So I've just been going on nonstop. So it's been a good time. I am low key trying to tell my boss no to getting in my pants. Yeah, don't get involved with the boss. It's only it can only bring bad things. No involvements with the boss. Yep, don't do it. Don't do it. Be wise, be strong. Man, this looks interesting. I wish they would show more than just the com- Okay, my, my arm is just being- It's not staying at the level I wanted to stay. I wish they showed more than just combat, though. Hope you had a- it, it was super fun. It's literally been a day of streaming. I've been on stream since 11. But yeah, I wish- I wish they they showed more. I want to see more of this. I love the concept. I love what they've shown. I want to see- what else is this about? That's kind of the... But yeah, it's good to see you too. I hope- are you- are you still working, me? I feel like every time I see you, you're always working. I just feel bad for you, man. Well, I don't- it's not bad, but like... I wish you could be resting and just having a... Gonna head out though, gotta relax a bit before having fun tonight. Ooh, nice. Go relax, my friend. Thank you for stopping by. I really appreciate it. And I hope you have a great evening and a great day tomorrow. Uh, it's probably just going to be combat. Kind of like border. Gotcha. There's only shooting. I'm off to dance. Nice. Nice. I hope you enjoy your weekend, man. You deserve it. You're, you work really late almost every day. So I hope, get, get that rest. Get that rest. And having some, huh? I am going to, by the way, tonight, I will stop, unless it goes past midnight, but I will stop either at midnight, as usual, midnight for me, or when the game ends. Since I've been streaming the entire day, I'll just go till the game ends. If it goes shorter than the, then, you know, that. I got you hosted, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Really, really appreciate it. Have a great time. Pleasure to be able to swing by. No, yeah, it's always a pleasure to have you here too. It's always a good time. Yes, get your rest, my friend. Get your rest. As we enjoy. <laughs> 